So I got another experiment I want to try. So there's this. Let me get over here. So there's this experiment, or at least that's what I interpret it as. I interpret a hieroglyphic featuring a priest at the top. He is holding a vase. He's pouring this vase. They're they're colored gold. So I'm assuming my interpretation that the vessel the vessels that he's using are made of actual gold they're conductive vessels so i have an experiment here where i'll be pouring water with a charge going through my body and i have these two metal containers will be my my gold instead of their aluminum cans one will be connected to ground the other one hopefully will be insulated enough to um carry the opposite charge by default. Um, if I was doing this a bit pr more properly, I would want to have something running down from the, the uh, globe as well to this where it has the same charge. But because I, I could try to touch it the same as time as pour, but I need a hand on this. It becomes a little clumsy. So we're going to start this up and we're going to see if we can at least see if we can copy what's being seen in the depiction, which is a split of water entering two different conditions. So, let's see. See that? Ow, something. Ow, 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 something. Ow. Okay. All right. Hopefully, we captured that footage. So you were able to see that it started to feather away. So I'm pouring to this one and it starts to feather away into the can that's connected closest to ground. It's not a perfect connection either. And we're already seeing that kind of interesting phenomenon where the water begins to split. This is not unlike what we'd see in a um, Kevlin water dropper where the stream will start to split when it's charged. And that's kind of the idea is that this depiction, which I'll have a, a link to in the description, um, I think is actually showing a scientific experiment dealing with electrostatic charge, that these, the ancient Egyptians were experimenting in the same way that they were going after the medical field, that they were observing certain phenomena and recording them. However, part of the issue is how do you describe this? How would you describe in a pictorial form electrostatic uh, phenomenon? And, um, and especially with an experiment like this where you can see it with water it's not the water itself, but it's expressed through the water. Um, leads me to believe that other interpretations, um, such as water in Assyrian and Egyptian texts, also hint the idea of electrostatic potentials. So it's interesting. It needs more substance before we can say, yes, that's what it is. But it's the hypothesis I'm currently chasing. And to me, it seems valuable in the fact that if they were using this for a exotic um, application, it would be interesting to see if we can find applications for us today. Um, I don't believe the Egyptians were, the, these ancient Egyptians were extremely um, superstitious. We see accounts of magic appear side by side with medical texts. I, I just don't see how you can how you can rational rationalize 
the idea of superstition being side by side with serious medical science unless there is something to the translation that's off that's been directly or literally translated beyond its meaning and hopefully we can some someday come to an understanding of what that is so this is just one experiment from one depiction the depiction will be in the um, description below and um, yeah share your thoughts and um, we'll go from there